correct the answer is yes, otherwise it wouldn't be much of a lesson today, now would there? I guess a better question I should say is, uh, how can we figure out that there are 12 lunches without drawing a tree? How, is that just intuition? Or did you figure something out? What? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, I'm going to take you all the way back to grade school, um, see here, let's go to, anybody go to Bonacord here? Okay, I, 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 I didn't think there was anything wrong, okay, well, how about we go instead to um, Davidson, right on the corner? Well, too bad, we're going to, we're going to Shaw, yo. It's William F or W F? Okay, anyway, we're going over there. And we're going to do um, we're going to do our math like we did back then. So, do you remember how you described two times three? How would an elementary student say what is two times three? Three two. Three, two. That's good. I like Andrew's answer. Where did you go to elementary school? Berkshire Park. Berkshire Park. Yeah. Okay. So, two groups of three. Well, if you look at the branches of the tree that models the diagram, there's two branches here, and each branch has a group of three after it. So now there's going to be two groups of three when I get to the next level. Then there's two groups of three, and each one of those has a group of two. So this is basically the group of, that we would say in the middle, which you guys know now is now that you're big kids, it's multiplication, right? So the branches are in fact multiplying them out, so it is possible to do this without a big tree like that. Okay, so let's try answering a question. Okay, the cap also features ice cream cones and 24 flavors uh, and six toppings. What's you can <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I know, eh? they have a terrible lunch menu and they have an amazing ice cream uh, 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 store. <laughs> you can order a regular sugar or waffle cone. Uh, how many possible ice creams can you order? Okay, so you have your choice of one scoop, one of six toppings, and one type of cone. What do you think? Yeah, you probably need a calculator, unless you're... How many, how many, how many? What do you think? Step right up and take a guess. 288, there is more than 288 with this particular... There is less than 5, 6, 16, or 6... Sorry? Okay, let's pretend we're doing this again. We'll move up to the uh, basket. 432. <laughs> that is correct. But let's pretend we're doing this just to explain it here. What's the first thing I need to choose? We'll pretend we're doing this, right? What do you do? Okay, we choose a cone. How many choices do I have of cones? Three. There's three. There's regular. Regular. It says. Well, okay, here, look. They're fine. There you go. Regular. Sugar and waffle. So you have three choices for the cone, and then you have, what's the next thing you would do? 24 flavors. 24 flavors, right? And you have six toppings. So you end up with 432. Okay? You don't want to use a tree for that. It will take you a long time to make that tree, 432 branches. Okay, so this is a fundamental counting principle. Um, everything we do in this unit is built upon this principle. So that's why it's pretty important. Of course, when it has a name like fundamental, you know it's pretty important. So uh, if we can perform a task in x different ways, y different ways, z, the number of ways we can uh, perform the entire thing would be x times y times z. So we just keep multiplying the numbers together. Um, that's roughly what the counting principle says. Okay. So let's try, uh, we'll speed it up. We'll try one quicker. A computer store sells six computers, four monitors, five printers, and three multimedia packages. Uh, how many different computer systems can they make? I don't know. Let's see. It seems like a pretty lame computer store to me, but let's uh, find out just how varied their choices are. What do you think? 360. 360 is correct. There are six computers. <laughs> then you got to choose one of four monitors. Then there are five printers to choose from, and then three multimedia packages, which brings me to 360 different systems. So, I mean, that's a pretty awesome computer store then, eh? 360 different computers you could advertise? No? Well, I'm just going to go to Dell anyways. Okay.
let's think about it now. How many uh, two different, how many different two digit, did, yeah, let's try that again. How many different two digit numbers are there? Well, what's a two digit number? We know, I hope we know by now what a two digit number is. 11's an example, 68's an example, 10's an example. How about seven? significance on leading zeros, so the number 7 obviously isn't, you mean 0, 7, it wouldn't count. So let's think about it this way, we have to make two decisions here, we have to choose the first digit and we have to choose the second digit. So how many numbers could I put in the first slot? 9, 10? Nine. Nine? Nine. Nine? Nine. Well, it's definitely 9, how come? One to nine. Yeah, the number is 1 to 9, it cannot include the number 0. Okay, what about the second slot? How many numbers can I put in there? Yeah, it could be any of the 10, which would be from 0 to 9. So there are a total of 92-digit numbers. What are they? Well, they're the numbers from 10 